This video is made available by the Technology and Applied Design program at Berea College under a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike version 3.0 license. So the question is, how do we use RGBlock to do something kind of cool? In particular, we would like to test um, our basic transistor gate. So uh, transistor-based logic gate. So I'm going to write a program here. And I have input A on pin 8 and input B on pin 9. So I might want to set digital pin 8 to low. This works. Low. And I would like to set digital pin 9 to low. Right, so now both pins are low. And that's it. My inputs are the two transistors. If they're an AND gate, that should mean that the AND of 0 and 0 should be 0, so the LED should not light up. What I want to do, though, I'm going to put in a delay of 2,000 milliseconds. And the reason for that is I want to have some time to see the output. I'm going to drag out a serial print line and stick it up here. And the message I want to print is uh, A0, B0. So what that's going to do is we'll have a, a message that'll get printed. It'll set the pins, and we're going to wait two seconds. So now I should be able to clone this. Ooh, that's great. I need four different tests. So I'm going to have four of these. Clone, 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 clone. So now my loop will be that I do this. And then I do this, and then I do this. Oh, it's gone. I don't know how big my screen can be. Um, so let's see. I'm going to assume my screen can only be so big. Now we might imagine that A is 0 and B is 1. So that means that I'll come in here and I'll make pin B high. And I'm going to print this. The message I'm printing is so I, as a human, can see what's going on. Now I'm going to make A1 and B0. So now we're going to make A high and B is low. And then finally, what happens when both of them are 1 or when both of them are high? They probably, it's, it's not good for digital electronics to, oh no. Um, so we're going to have a test case where both pins are low. We're going to have a test case where B is high. We're going to have a test case with where A is high, and we're going to have a test case where both of them are high. And do I have any kind of comments? Organize all blocks. So fancy. Um, I think that's about it. So I should be able to upload to the Arduino. And I don't have an Arduino hooked up right now, but we can see. Yeah, cancel. That it's going to set the pin mode on pins 8 and 9 as output. It'll do a print. It will set two pins low, it'll set the two pins low and high, it'll set high and low, and then it'll set pins eight and nine both high. Each time it will wait two seconds. And then, after you upload it, well, if you hit the serial monitor and your Arduino is connected, then all of this should work. So give it a go. Um, as it happens, for all of your two input gates, this program actually is it. That's what it takes to test your logic gate. You have two inputs, and you'll use the LED to be the output. Maybe next time around, we might add something that actually reads the output and tells us if it's correct. That'd be kind of fancy. But we'll call it quits for now. How do I stop the recording? I forget. This video is made available by the Technology and Applied Design program at Berea College under a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike version 3.0 license.